Hi guys, how's it going? It's Marky. Can you believe I'm at another festival in Walt Disney World? Yeah, another festival already. This one is called the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. They do have a lot of things going on. I want to go check out the topiaries. That's one of my favorite things to do at this festival. You got topiaries and gardens and they have the outdoor kitchens. That's another favorite. And then the garden rock concerts. Those are really cool. The merchandise, you might like to do the garden graze. That's another event they have going on here. And they also have a, sc a scavenger hunt that's going on. It says for kids of all ages. They also have an egg extravaganza. So there's two different scavenger hunts that you can do. Plus we got the blossoms of fragrance. That's where you go and check out the nice smells of the flowers. We're going to see a lot of flowers, a lot of topiaries. Uh, they do have over 20 kitchens, outdoor kitchens, the butterfly landing. But don't forget when you come here, you want to come over to this little booth and grab your festival passport. That's very important. Grab your festival passport. Find what you want to do in the booklet. The first two pages tells you everything that's going on. I am wearing my, sh my shirt from the festival from 2020. That year they were featuring Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse as the, the, ma the mascots for that festival. Guys, Eva is with me and guess what? She's wearing this year's mascot, Orange Bird. Orange Bird is the mascot for this festival. Check it out. She's wearing her Think Orange shirt and she has her Squeeze Me Orange. And <laughs> oh, and the earrings. She has the earrings. So she has the mascot all over. And while you're here, you know you're going to run into Minnie Mouse, maybe Mickey Mouse. Check it out. You're also going to run into Goofy. They're all hanging out here right next to Spaceship Earth. I found the merchandise. Baby, wait till you see the merchandise. They have an Orange Bird collection. They have a Disney Pixar Coco collection. And they also have the Butterfly collection. Check it out. I like the ears. The ears? You like the ears? I can tell you that already. Yeah, look at that. Look at the ears. <laughs> <laughs> you like the ears very much? I have an ear weakness, yeah. a hat weakness, yeah. and earrings. <laughs> it's March 15 and all of a sudden it's a hot summer day. Yeah, we're like in the 80s today. I think the high is going to be 88. Oh, the good thing is that there's not a lot of humidity, so it feels really good. There's just a light little breeze and it's just feeling perfect. I wanted to show you guys some of the festival merchandise, but they don't have any in this store. So I'm just going to show you Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. They have this one here. It says best vacation ever. And those are $24.99 each. All right, guys, I'm in front of Gateway Gifts. It's right under Spaceship Earth. This is where you can get the maps. They have them here. Spikes uh, pollination exploration. This is the scavenger hunt I was talking about and they do have the egg extravaganza 2024, which is for the egg scavenger hunt. Now, when you complete those two, you do get a prize at the end. One of the coolest things that has happened here lately is that they added Walt Disney statue here. So you can meet Walt Disney now. You can sit next to him, take your picture. I think that's a great addition to to the park, you know, and to this brand new area that they have built here, which is now called World Celebration. Walt, I just want to thank you and your team for all the beautiful things you've given us through the years. So thank you if you're listening out there, up there or anywhere. But it's nice to have you here to take my picture with you. All right, I'm ready for my picture. Yeah. <laughs> Walt was a dreamer. So guess what they're calling this place here? It's Dreamer's Point. Guys, this is one of my favorite ones here today. It's Figment. Wow, here's a little figment wind chime. I hadn't seen these outdoor market booths before. These are pretty cool. So they have all the wind chimes over there. And then this one here has sunglasses. Hi. Oh my God, look at these cool sunglasses. Ray-Ban and Disney together. Oh, they have Ray-Ban, then it says, it has a little Mickey on the corner. That is awesome. So now we're leaving World Celebration. Gonna enter a new area. This is really close to the creation shop where they probably have all of the merch. All right, we found the orange bird merch. All right, I found the ears. Here they are, and they do come with a pin, which looks really nice. And then over here, look at this. And it's got the orange bird that pops out of a little plant pot. And they do have the actual pots right here too. Look at these, these are pretty nice. Wow, the orange bird theming is on point. He's everywhere. It says, aren't you glad you met me? Wow, this is a good one, man. I like it. And these are going for $34.99. You check out the orange bird hat. This is awesome. I love it. Now this one might be one of the coolest items here. An orange juicer. You can squeeze your orange and all the juice goes right into your mug. Your Epcot International Flower and Garden own orange bird mug. They also have the orange bird Christmas ornaments. What a great idea. I'm just going to say, babe, that. this is one of your favorites here? Yeah, I love that shirt. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It does have the 
the woman's cut. Love it so much. And look at that. And it's soft. What a design. It's really it's, soft, right? And it's got the different countries. All the countries Love you can it. find here in the, the uh, different pavilions in World Showcase. Right across from the refreshment station, you're gonna have Brunch Cot. <laughs> Pretty clever name. Not Epcot, but Brunch Cot. This is one of the outdoor kitchens where you can participate in the Garden Graze. The Garden Graze is just one of the festival things where you can buy a certain amount of items and you get a stamp for each one. And once you get all the stamps, you'll get a prize at the end. Wow, look at this. So right here at the Brunch Cot, we got the cinnamon rolls. They look amazing. And the avocado toast. The avocado toast is $6. The biscuit and gravy are $6.75 and the prized cinnamon roll bites are $5. Now I'm just trying to find Eva and we got lost. Here we are. We are right next to Test Track. When those cars zoom by, it is really loud. Here it goes. Wow. That's pretty loud. <laughs> you might not hear it because of my microphone. Check it out, guys. Here is the avocado toast. This one is one of the Garden Grays items. We are participating in the Garden Grays and we'll show you what we get at the end of the Grays. And here is the uh, cinnamon rolls. These are not included. So these you buy, you do not get any credit for buying these. So we got our first stamp for the avocado toast. You can see there, they stamped a little avocado on there. Okay, Eva tried it, now it's my turn. Oh my God, this looks amazing. Wow, that's really good. I'm really surprised. I wasn't expecting it to be so fresh and so soft and so tasty. So for me, Brunch Cot was a hit out of the park. What do you think, babe? How was it for you? For sure. That's a must, must try. So you love both items that we got? The cinnamon rolls were just amazing to die for. So, so good. It was my first time trying those cinnamon rolls, and I gotta say, I love them. They're so good. I can't believe I never tried them before. I'm gonna walk around this right here because they have Huey, Louie, and Dewey topiary set up. They look so cool with their gardening tools and then the flowers behind them. What a beautiful sight. If you're wondering where Donald is, I found him. He's right here. He has his own little spot. Wow, a day like today, I would say that this really works. I'm sure the kids are really enjoying that. So they did add something new to this area, Guardians of the Galaxy. And I'm talking about this area here with a bunch of umbrellas. This looks like some kind of new queue that I haven't seen before. Wow, this is awesome. They have Groot here. He has a mixtape that is actually working. He's rewinding. <laughs> As I'm standing right here next to Groot, he's actually at the Flower and Garden Festival. He does have a mixtape with him and it actually played. Next to Guardians of the Galaxy, you can visit Mission Space and Space 220 restaurant, but also you can visit the Buzz Lightyear Topiary. And here he is, Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Don't forget to hydrate when you're here. It's really hot in Florida. Wow, that feels so good going down. Wow, I remember when this movie came out. These characters are just amazing. Love watching this one, so check it out. Simba, Nala back there. Gotta love these topiary. Wow, this is awesome. They didn't forget Timon and Pumbaa. They're just across the way. By the way, guys, they still do have a bunch of construction walls, so they're not completely done with the renovations but soon okay we're gonna make our way to the butterfly landing i can't wait i really like that uh, attraction so the butterfly landing is right next to the land it's kind of like in between the land and the imagination pavilion one of my favorite features is when they bring back the floating flower baskets they are so beautiful so amazing they stay in place because they're anchored by chains here we are butterfly landing I love the bead entrance. Okay, I found one perched right here on this plant. Oh, nice. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, there's a bunch of them hanging out on those leaves right there. You tattooed me with your lips. I wore you like perfume. You like perfume. We were like no other. Welcome to the butterfly house. Plant your own butterfly habitat. It's actually pretty cool. They give you all the instructions, all the information you need. Yeah, 
they do have a bunch of signs here and one of them says don't touch their wings they're very very delicate i'm on my way out but i gotta say that this is a very relaxing and beautiful experience i look forward to it every year <laughs> wow now that's a giant butterfly right there <laughs> it looks amazing made of flowers it's another topiary here at the flowering garden you probably know this already, but most of the planting that they do here is overnight. Yeah, they work at night so that we can come over here and enjoy it during the day. We just came out of the butterfly garden, which is right over there. And over here by this little lake, there's something bubbling. Right here at the Imagination Pavilion, you can meet Mickey Mouse right next door. And then Figment is right inside there. Wow, what a difference. It feels so cool in here. Florida is hot, my friends, very hot. Here's the dream port. This is where Figment We'll come out to greet everyone. On this side, we have Imagination Land. And on this side, there's plenty of games. And that's where you meet Figment, right there. I just found out that Figment will not be coming out of the dream port because he is done meeting and greeting today. So we can look around and see that there are plenty of things to do here. It says, inspire, explore, imagine, dream, and create. I've made it to a distant land, Imagination Land. Wow, the castle reminds me of Cinderella's castle. And the House of Cards reminds me of the Imagination Pavilion. This is probably the funnest thing to do here. Besides going on the ride and visiting the attraction, you get to see all these really cool areas. And you can't leave the Imagination Pavilion without checking out Figment's ears. We have Figment hats. Here's his t-shirt. And there's so much more. Pillows and plushies, pins, plenty of shirts and different jackets, and a lot of toys too. They have a really nice display here. Look at this t-shirt. This one is really cool. This cup and saucer, man, they look perfect. And look at this guy's shirt right here. I know we're gonna be coming back to the festival some other time in the near future. And I guess that's going to be the time we meet Figment. Guys, this is one of my favorite areas of the Topiaries. Toy Story. Woody, Bo Peep, and the Three Sheep. There's a snake in my boot. Every year they build these really cool nests for the Purple Martins. They're migratory songbirds. And they hang out here. Check it out, I found a upside down butterfly. On this other side, we have a giant flower. On the opposite side, they do have a purple butterfly. Welcome. Camp, get out and play garden. <laughs> Presented by Off. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> They do have so many clever areas for pictures. Check out this one right here. I'm standing on the welcome. <laughs> Epcot Farmer's Feast. What an awesome outdoor kitchen. They're preparing corn back there. Back here, they have the whole setup where they prepare the corn. Grilled street corn on the cob, the savory garlic spread, and plant-based cheese. Man, this looks so delicious. $5.75. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Oh my God. So we do have a really nice view to have our corn. Look at this canoe full of flowers. Can you spot Spike? <laughs> the Spike the bee right there. He's part of one of the scavenger hunts. So we found him. <laughs> Next to the creation shops, we have a really cool brand new playground that has been created. Now we got to stand for the corn too. So we have avocado toast, corn, all part of the uh, garden graze. I found the stars of the show, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. Oh my God, the ducks have arrived. <laughs> the mommy with all the little ducks. <laughs> there they go. The the 
Wow, this is probably definitely, this might be the top. I don't know, this one's probably equal to Toy Story. I got Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Pluto, Chippendale. Awesome. This is the Blossoms of Fragrance area where you can smell all the flowers. Wow, it's really intense, the, the aroma. It's great. Beautiful area as well. Wow, check it out. So they have three giant butterflies and then tons of flowers to smell. Wow, the fragrance is intense. This is one of the areas that I had no idea what it's all about. But after reading a bunch of the little signs they have here and checking out some of the flowers, which talk about the jelly and peanut butter, it's a place to learn all about peanut butter and jelly and how plants have to do with it. A peanut butter butterfly. Here are the Encanto topiary. Look how amazing they look. Wow. Okay, I gotta say, they're all good. All the topiary are really good. They're so well done. Oh my God, there's a wedding. Wow, that is so cool. That's so interesting to see that happening. Okay, I don't have any favorites. All the topiary are awesome. They are so well put together and they're beautiful. Okay, we're getting the plant-based buffalo chicken poutine right here at the poutine booth. That gives us one more stamp. These are available right next door to Canada at the refreshment port right here. Here's Bambi, Thumper, Flower, hanging out in the flower garden. So this plant-based dish is a little spicy, just so you know, just in case you're coming this way. We hope you'll join us for Luminous, the symphony of us, beginning this evening at 9 o'clock. Eva, it's pretty spicy. Would you get it again? Absolutely. Yeah, you it's, have this? It's just the right amount of spice, and then it balances with the little tater tots. There's like a balance, so yes, I would. No points in blaming you, you did not know. Wow, guys, there's so much traffic in this area. I was trying to cross and I was like, oh my God, I'm never going to make it to the other side. I want to come over to this side just because I want to show you Pooh Bears here and a rabbit. And then we have Tigger, Eeyore and Piglet. And by the way, this is a replica of a very famous castle in the UK. Let's cross over to the other side, right in front of the castle as well. We have Rabbit. There's Pooh Bear. He's going to fly away with the balloon. <laughs> Who doesn't love the UK Pavilion? You get to see the bands rock out. But today we get some topiary. Here's a Mickey Mouse. And on the other side, they do have a beautiful topiary of Dumbo, which I really like. It's so, so cool to see this. Again, these are so amazing. They look incredible. I've seen the band here performing so many times. I love my rock and roll, so always gotta come by and check this out. It looks like they're coming back in a little bit. Yeah, they're on break right now, but they'll be back in a little bit. This is what the band sees when they're performing. Not a bad view. Behind the town square here at the UK Pavilion, they do have the tea garden stroll, so you can walk around. It's like a self-guided tour. Read the signs, and they have like a lot of flowers. This whole area here is part of the tour. On this side, we have black currant and lavender. This is pretty cool, the life cycle of butterflies. You can learn all about it. They have the information on the bottom here. This is the raspberry and lemon tree. Wow, the fragrance is incredible. Oh my God, it smells like candy. Wow, looks like we found another spike, which is part of the scavenger hunt. And look, he's right there in the middle of this garden. It's kind of dark, so I'm gonna move on a little bit, try and find some more topiary. I think that would be the best thing since nightfall has arrived. Wow, beautiful, Tinkerbell. She looks amazing. This is a really nice one. It's hard to see right now, but there's a ton of little fairy houses all around Tinkerbell. Check out the river as we get closer to the French Pavilion. I love that bridge there on the left. They do have a Mickey Mouse bed of flowers right there. Look at the beautiful view of the friendship boat coming in, the gondolas up in the air. What a view of the friendship boat arriving at the dock and then we have the gondolas on top heading to Riviera Resort. 
It's Lumiere and Cosworth. <laughs> yeah, these are so fun. Wow, guys, check it out. It's Beauty and the Beast. A nice cream shop, a bakery, a theater, a really nice restaurant. There's a liquor store. Oh my God, a gift shop. So many things here at the French Pavilion. This is a really nice one to visit. Oh, this one belongs to the egg scavenger hunt. Wow, we found them. That's so awesome that we found them right here. Okay, I said amazing, awesome so many times, but guys, they work so hard at these gardens. You can tell, man, they really do a great job. It's like, wow. I want to say wow again because Kermit and Miss Piggy made of flowers. What incredible, beautiful topiaries, man. I wasn't really looking, but I found another Spike the Bee hidden in this flower bed. Check it out. Guys, you can buy these topiary. They're already started, so they have some of the uh, little leaves growing already. But you can start your own at home. Look at that. They have Mickey Mouse. They have some bunny rabbits, some ducks, turtles. They also have elephants and angels and hearts. <laughs> these are pretty awesome items to get. Pretty. Obviously, these are Easter items. They have a ton of these here in the Japan <laughs> pavilion. Oh, wow, that one's really pretty. That's how pretty. <laughs> that one's cool. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she's cute. They have tiny ones over here. Modern English is playing here tonight. That's all part of the festival. They have rock bands and, and pop rock bands and new wave bands. They have so many bands. So we get to see a lot of cool shows here now all the way through May. You probably can't tell by the sound, but the sound system here is so incredible for the concerts. It really does sound amazing. So when you come here and check out the, the concerts, they're just really enjoyable. Here at the Italian Pavilion, they do have Lady in the Tramp, which are really beautiful as well. Snow White and Dopey. There they are. All of them. Man, these are so, so cool. Oh, he's got a caterpillar on his nose. <laughs> Off to work we go. Oh, he's got to be sleepy. <laughs> Hi ho! It's off to work we go. So we are not going to complete the garden graze. I mean, we are pretty full. We still have two more items to get. We ate a and lot. then if you complete the if you complete the graze, you get an ice cream. And we're like, we can't do this. We we'll can't. have to finish we're maybe tomorrow or another that. day. <laughs> that's an upside down panda. We got a panda that's having a good time, a, a ball just playing over there. And here's their mother. This is in the China Pavilion. So these guys are actually pretty old, even though they're babies, because they've been putting this display up for a long, long time. Many festivals I've been here and they've had them out. I just heard the band play their last song. It's Modern English. And they just played, I'll Stop the World and Melt With You. So that's their popular song. Here's Anna and Elsa, the girls from Frozen. Frozen is one of those Disney movies that continues to be popular to this day. Guys, I gotta tell you, if you wanna come here to this festival and enjoy it to the fullest, come early. We didn't get here early enough to enjoy everything. We missed out on a lot of things. Or if we had been here earlier, we would have seen so much more, done so many more things. We didn't even get to visit any of the attractions or we didn't get to do any of the rides. Available now, they do have a little orange lemon smoothie that you can buy and keep the sipper. We made it to the Citrus Blossom Room. This is amazing. Check out the display they have here. All the items I saw earlier and more. I gotta say the merch this year for Flowering Garden is really awesome. They have some really nice items I think a lot of people are gonna love. Wow, what a great time we had here today. I hope you guys got some information. I hope you learned about the festival and I hope you come down and enjoy it.
Gotta love the Disney transportation system. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. <laughs>